hey best friends welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video I will be sharing with you all some cleaning tips just to get your home clean and ready for fall so if you are in need of some fall cleaning motivation please keep on watching So y'all, my first tip that I have for you all is to get up in those ceiling corners just to get rid of all the cobwebs or any dust that just accumulated. Oh, yes, baby sis, we are wiping down our plants for the fall season, our real and faux plants. So for my artificial plants, I just use a little cleaner and just go through and just wipe those down, just dust them really quickly. And then I'll do the same thing for my real plants, but I'll just use a damp cloth and then gently wipe those down. Over time, calcium, lime scale, and rust builds up in the pores of your shower head and will clog or limit the water stream. I use this spray just to treat my shower head and just to make sure that it's free from the buildup. If you notice a lot of buildup on your shower head, I would suggest filling up a bowl of the CLR in like a water solution and then just letting it soak for about two minutes. Be mindful to wash your washable shower curtains, remove and replace those liners, clean that shower rod, and don't forget to clean those vents. If you use a washing machine cleaner, say yeah, yeah. I'm just joking. I'm actually in a really good mood today, and hopefully you are feeling pretty good today. And if you aren't, girl, I am sending you some good vibes. Don't be mad or sad, just get glad. All right, I'm gonna stop now. But <laughs> using a washing machine cleaner removes musty odors that can linger in your machine, making sure your laundry always smells fresh. See, you don't wanna be using those expensive detergents and softeners only to realize that the whole time it's your washing machine that actually is funky. So I would definitely recommend a washing machine cleaner and all you do is just put this inside and then you just put it on a normal load and just let it do its thing. After drying each load, definitely make sure that you are cleaning your lint traps, but take it a step further and use this lint remover. So I'm kind of obsessed with this thing. So you just hook it up to your vacuum and then you use the holes to get all the way down in your dryer. So I use this quite often because the first time it was just so much lint and I just could not believe how much lint was like deep down in my dryer. Now there's not really a lot of lint, which is kind of disappointing because I love getting all the lint from deep down in the dryer. But this really works and it's really cost efficient um, and it will definitely protect your dryer from all the lint that builds up in your dryer. Summer is actually my favorite season. I'm a little bit sad to see it go, but I do appreciate fall. I love the cool and cozy nights and the cool, crisp air. And best of all, I love hoodie season. Like, it's the best. I love me a good oversized hoodie. It just makes me feel so comfortable. Guys, I also have a confession to make. I have never tried pumpkin spice anything like coffee nothing let me know below in the comments like is it really pumpkin spice and everything nice like is it is it that like is it really good should I try it or should I just you know stay in my lane and just keep my fringe vanilla you know also let me know your favorite season do you enjoy fall winter spring summer let me know what your favorite season is
baseboards can get so dirty and grimy especially if you're not really paying attention to them and just cleaning them on a regular if you just have carpet try to just sweep the baseboards before vacuuming and if you just have like regular vinyl or wood floors try incorporating um, wiping those down as well for a deeper clean I always just like to take my cleaner in a cleaning cloth and just get down and just scrub any areas that needs to be cleaned as well if you are using the plugins, I'm almost like over the plugins because one, they are so expensive and the refills are just, they just don't last for me. But anyway, if you are using them, also kind of be mindful to clean off the, um, the little plug-in part from any oils or anything that's left on it. Light fixtures and ceiling fans, they just collect so much dust, but you definitely want to make sure to clean them down. I'm using a dry cloth to make sure that I remove the dust, then I'm just going to use some glass cleaner to shine them up. This has got to be the most dirtiest, the most forgotten about area in my home. I mean, who really thinks to clean the top of the cabinets? I know I don't. When I was actually getting on top of the counter to clean the light fixtures, I just so happened to look over and I saw all the dust. It was so sticky up there, so I used the Dawn Power Spray Cleaner and I was able to easily remove all the grime. So now we're working our way on down to the cabinets. I feel like I always show myself cleaning the outside of the cabinets, which is also important. So make sure that you are cleaning your cabinets. For my wood cabinets, I either use the Method Wood Cleaner or the Everspring Wood Cleaner. I'll be leaving all of my favorite cleaners below in the description box for anyone who's interested. And guys, if you have any cleaners that you swear by, please definitely leave them in the comment section below. So, my spice cabinets were super greasy and just giving me like unorganized vibes and surprisingly filled with a lot of expired seasonings. So I was like today years old when I found out that seasonings actually have expiration dates. Did y'all know this or have I been the only one using expired seasonings? So if you're from Maryland, you know about that Obey, and then you know they made that Obey hot sauce. I really don't like any super spicy foods. My husband Gordon does, so y'all know I had to get Bay that Obey hot sauce, baby. <laughs> And I think it was like a limited edition or something. I don't know if they were going to be like selling this forever. So I just went on and snagged him a few bottles just, you know, just to have. I do like to keep some of my seasonings in cute little containers. I need to purchase more, but y'all know how expensive those cute little containers could be. You gotta like brace yourselves on those organizing containers. So I'll purchase more soon. But I did take the time to refill all of my seasonings that I noticed that were just a little low.
take the time to clean behind your stove. You don't have to do this like every day, but of course, you know, every six months when you're doing your deep cleans, I like to pull out my stove and just kind of clean behind it. And also I like to get the sides where the food have, um, you know, maybe dropped down or spilled down while cooking. Don't forget to clean the top and behind your refrigerator. The top of the refrigerator gets really sticky for some reason. I don't know. But while I was on um, cleaning the refrigerator and just in total shock of all the expired seasonings, I went through my refrigerator to check the dates and just to clear out all um, of the old leftover foods. To make cleaning fun and just to get into that fall vibe, I did start using my um, fall scented uh, multi-surface cleaner. And guys, please don't mind my refrigerator. The light just keeps going on and off. I don't know what's going on with this refrigerator. We needed a new refrigerator when this refrigerator was brand new. To clean my dishwasher, um, first you'll see me just wiping it down. I like to do this a little often just to make sure that all the food stains are not left on there. Um, and then I'm going to use my CLR cleaner and I'm going to put it in like a little bowl and just place it in the dishwasher. Make sure that no dishes are inside of the dishwasher when I'm doing this. I usually like to do it on a heavy load and then once that load is done, I'll just run an extra rinse cycle just to make sure that there's no residue from the CLR cleaner. Guys, do not forget those blinds and window seals. Like they get so dusty and grimy over the season. So definitely wanna make sure that you are cleaning them. So I'm not necessarily saying to clean it this way. On my smaller windows, I do like to do this. And then typically on my like larger windows, I will use um, either my handheld vacuum or my blind cleaner. And then I'll just go through each and every blind and clean it like that. Then for my windows, I will just clean the inside of it, um, just making sure that there's no dust, spider webs, or anything like that that may be in my windowsill. You also want to take some time to dust down any furniture pieces that you really don't get a chance to do on a regular. And if you can or get some help, make sure um, to move the furniture pieces to get underneath or behind the um, furniture to either dust, mop, or vacuum. My last tip, my most important tip, please do not overwhelm yourself. Do what you can, do what you want when you have to clean your home. Now, having a clean and neat home is definitely important. I will not tell you otherwise, but so is getting your rest and you know your much needed just peace of mind. So leave the dirt behind, you know, leave it there for a second, maybe get some help or do whatever you can, but definitely, definitely make sure that you are getting all the proper rest that you can, you know, do what you can, boo. Don't stress yourself out. All right. So happy fall. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have found some motivation and definitely enjoy hanging out with me today while watching my get ready for fall cleaning tips video. I will see you all in the next video. Take care, stay happy and healthy. Bye-bye.